the silver medalist in this women's floor. Sui Lu takes the bronze. Second place and winner of the silver medal from Australia, Lauren Mitchell. And Lauren Mitchell. Two silver medals for her on this last day of the World Championships. And this in the floor. Earlier, she'd taken second place on the beam. A victory for the home champion, Beth Treadle of Britain. A great crowning moment for all the home fans and indeed the organisers in this O2 arena, the venue for the Olympic Games in three years. And Beth Treadle on top of the podium giving uh, British gymnastics another boost. They had Daniel Keating taking the silver in the men's all-round competition. And Treadle gives them a world title. It came after she had the disappointment of failing to qualify for the uneven bars, and she's a world champion in that discipline. And now she has another goal. Treadle has the, the talent and indeed the years on her side to be getting even better. And who knows? All well, the British gymnastics are going to be hoping for her to be on a podium for the Olympics in three years. Beth Treadle did indeed medal, and the colour was gold. The top prize for Britain's number one female gymnast. Great result too for Lauren Mitchell in a silver position on the floor. And what next for the uh, gymnasts? We've had a World Championships. Would they be taking a break from training? Perhaps uh, Tracy for, for Lauren, if she's going back to Australia, is it a couple of weeks off or is it right back into the gym and working? Well, when Lauren gets back, actually, she's got to get stuck into her schoolwork. She's got her year 12 to finish. And uh, I, I'm sure that she'll have a little bit of downtime, but um, probably not a lot. Uh, knowing Lauren, she'll be back in the gym quite quickly and uh, looking to where she can improve and... Uh, Re, you know, continue to build her, her start scores. It, it's tough, isn't it, balancing? It's a, it also brings home how young so many, especially on the women's side, these gymnasts are. You talk about the schoolwork, because in a way we see them performing, and, and that gives a sense of maturity, that when you see them outside, you realise they are very young, and as you said, many of them are going to school. And balancing out their lives must be a, a difficult uh, equation. It is. I know a number of athletes who, uh, you know, maybe uh, it's their particular Olympic cycle. They may do their schooling by distance education or, um, you know, put their schooling on hold for a period of time while they get through, particularly when it's close to an Olympic Games. Um, but we've got some really good support systems set up in Australia to uh, support the athletes, particularly with the Institutes of Sport um, and the Athlete Career and Education uh, support systems. It's important, I suppose, John, that the gymnasts realise that 
there is a life.